Hi, I'm Nina. Today I'm going to share with you the video I posted for my class when we were learning about space and it was time to learn about Earth. I am going to tell you a little bit about my favorite planet. First I want to give you a few hints about my favorite planet. It is beautiful. It has mountains and valleys and a water cycle. It has plate tectonics that help renew um, just like the water cycle gets fresh water up and circulates it. Plate tectonics allows new earth to form and circulate and so it is um, fertile. Um, my favorite planet has a liquid core that's that as it's moving makes an electromagnetic field that protects the planet. It has an atmosphere that helps protect the planet. And it is a very unique planet because out of all of the places that we have uh, looked at, it is the only place that life exists. Um, Earth is amazing. It, so many things have to come together perfectly for a planet to be able to be to live on and as I'm looking out the window here there are the skies are beautiful there are beautiful clouds there's so much earth is amazing and that's why there's so many fields of study that study different parts of the earth um, so I was gonna show a couple of clips um, the first, I know you guys love the story bots, so I have the story bots about Earth. The, the next one is, these are a bunch of pictures that an astronaut named Scott Kelly, he spent a year up in space, and um, he took pictures every single day. And the pictures are so unique, like you don't get that perspective so often, and so they're really fun to, to see. Um, and as you look at these pictures, I would encourage you guys to go outside and you study Earth from close up. I went outside yesterday and took a few pictures in our yard of things close up. I was going to try and do them so close up that you would have a hard time guessing what they are, but I don't think my camera has a good enough zoom. So, but they're still fun, and I still would love to see yours if you guys want to do that as well. So as you're outside, and even inside eating food, I want you to think about your five basic senses. Um, what Earth smells like and feels like and sounds like, so that you can make a poem. I'll put the um, template below, but it's basically just filling in the blanks. And here is mine. Earth looks like rainbows. It sounds like birds chirping. The earth smells like fresh cut grass. It tastes like honey. Earth feels like hugs. Um, and then I have one more YouTube clip that I won't put into this that I'll just link below um, that has a lot more information if you're interested. You can check that out too. That's what I sent to my class and here are the pictures that they sent to me put to the Storybots song about Earth. Such a beautiful, beautiful world. I'm the Earth, and for what it's worth, 25,000 miles is my girth. I've got more than 7 billion people living on me all across my amazing geography. Check out my mountains, valleys, trees so tall, and I got lakes, rivers, and waterfalls, volcanoes, craters, swamps with alligators, tropical islands at my equator. The North and South Poles have lots of ice, only polar bears say. This weather's nice. I've got so much land, yeah, I'm so immense. I got seven, seven, seven different continents. North and South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, and Australia. But the biggest thing everybody can see is that I got a lot of water all over me. I have oceans with lobsters, whales, otters. Three quarters of me is covered in water. I orbit the sun. I'm so hot. That's his line. And the moon orbits me. It's my time to shine. I'm filled with life, both big and small. The most beautiful planet of all. Such a beautiful, such a beautiful, such a beautiful, beautiful world. 
If you found this video helpful, subscribe to Intrinsic because meaningful learning is driven by desire from within.